Hi guys, in today's video we're going to have a go at making a monster face. So I made this one in a Facebook Live the other week on my Facebook page. It was a bit of a rush job, but that's fine. I'm going to show you it anyway on here. So we started with some cake. Now I started with a rough square. You can do whatever size you want and I'm going to have some dyed buttercream for the middle. So I just used this mint colour mill. I'm going to put links in the description box below the video as well to everything that I've used. So if you want to use the same products, you can find them easily. So we're just going to sandwich some of the buttercream in between my layers of cake. So I've cut a little bit off the top at both sides, at a slope, and a little bit sort of off the top, so sort of above the eyebrows. Then we've cut a slope for the mouth, or a big curve, I should say. And then removing the eye marks. So once you've cut out sort of the mouth area and the eye holes or the marks for the eyes, they're just like dips in the face, we're going to cover the whole thing in buttercream. Now, usually I would give it two layers. I'd put it in the fridge in between, but because it was a Facebook Live, we only had time for the one. And then we're going to cover it in some ready to roll icing, which is the same as your fondant or your sugar paste. It's the same thing. So we're going to roll it out. Try and go as thin as you can with it, otherwise you've got quite a lot of fondant on there. And I know that some people aren't keen on fondant, so you might need to pick it off anyway. <laughs> We're going to press lightly in all the areas of the faces that we know we've added a dip. Go gently with it, otherwise it will split when you are doing this. I'm just pushing in the bottom edge now with a dress and tool. You can use something else if you want. It's just so that it's nice and tight in that bottom corner. Otherwise, when I remove all the extra paste, sometimes all the buttercream squeezes out if I've not pressed it in firmly, the sugar paste at the bottom edge. So we're going to remove that all the way around. I've got a little bit of buttercream there. We'll sort that out later. And I'm using a balling tool to just kind of make the eye area. Now, can you see it's starting to crack a little bit where I spent a bit of time chatting <laughs> rather than getting on with putting my indentations in on the Facebook Live. If you find that your fondant cracks a bit, you can add a bit of modeling paste. Be obviously, before you use it, you would mix modeling paste and fondant together. It will give you a little bit longer to work with it as well. I'm gonna put some crease lines in, guys. So that's what I'm doing now, just little crease lines to make it a bit more monster-like. Some lines up in the eyebrows. This is what my eyebrows look like on my lines. <laughs> a few on the side of the face as well. And maybe some on the forehead. So let's give him some ears. I'm going to go for two triangular-ish kind of shapes for the ears. You could go for bigger ears, smaller ears. I'm going to have them flopping downwards like that. I'm going to use some sugar pearls actually to give him like some warts on his skin. You can just use the fondant if you prefer. Pressing them in pretty firmly so they don't roll off. And it's a little bit of water that I've put underneath them to just to hold them in place. We're going to score in some lines for our eyebrow area. If you want to stick the eyebrows on as an additional piece, you can do, but I just thought it was more fondant and there's already quite a lot of fondant. We're going to do a little oval for the nose. We'll put some dips for the top of the nose and then we're going to push the nostrils in underneath and then we'll just press that in place. So his nose is actually going over his bottom lip, but that's fine. <laughs> I'm going to add some extra little warts because I want them in different sizes. I'm just going to use the fondant itself now to roll little balls and press that on. And the sugar pearls that I used, and they were slightly different green, but I don't mind. Uh, they were full of chocolate in the middle, so it's not like solid, hard sugar. And then we're going to make some horns. Again, pretty solid in fondant, these pieces. So you probably won't want to eat these. These are more for decoration. You can eat them, but it is just pretty much sugar. It's almost like a teardrop. It's fairly slightly teardrop with a flat edge at the bottom. Put some lines on it. Let's fill the eyes so I've just got white sugar paste fondant. I'm going to try and have them similar sizes. Mm, yeah, they are similar. I don't know whether to go one big, one small. So I've got them to the side. I'm going to leave them to the side for the moment because what I want to do is just add a bit more detail to the ogre or troll. So we're just going to cut out a piece like this that's going to go around the head. So the square bit I've kind of removed is going to contain his face like this. So I haven't really given him a neck, but I think that's okay. I'm just gonna drag that down till it meets the bottom of my board and we'll cut off anything that goes beyond the board itself. I'm not sure whether I want him to have bigger shoulders. So let's just add a little bit of extra sugar paste up there. Try and blend it in if you can. Again, cutting off any extra from around the edge of the board. Let's make it match at the other side. And just finish that off with some more little warts so it matches his face. So 
So just working out what kind of size teeth he wants. Can't decide on whether I want a pointy tooth or a round tooth. Round tends to look a bit more cutesy than the pointy one. I don't know which do you guys think, which do you prefer? So as it was a Facebook Live, people chose the pointy one. I'm not gonna stick it in place just yet. We're gonna dust first. So that the teeth have made a second one and we'll just leave those to one side. I'm gonna use a nice bright green to try and brighten up the skin a little bit. So I'm not putting it everywhere. I'm trying to go for like the top edges, anywhere that would be lighter so the light would kind of be shining from the top down. I would catch the top parts of like his shoulders, his head, his nose. And to emphasize that more, let's go with a darker color, like a dark green or even black on the underneath of the chin. And sort of the body that would be shadowed under the chin as well. So these are just edible dust, so you can eat these ones. Again, I'll put links in the description box below to what I've used. I'm trying to use like a turquoisey kind of color, just so that it's not one flat color. I'm not gonna add it everywhere. Again, we'll just go for certain areas. I'm also darkening, can you see under the eyebrows and the eye area? Put a couple of lines in for bags under the eyes too. And you can use edible pens as well. So if we wanna darken the little crease lines on his mouth, we can always use an edible pen. So green or brown, I've gone for, gone for green can always add a bit of brown in there as well. You don't have to do this step if you prefer not to. So to create more of a paint rather than a dry dust, you can always mix the dust with like a dip in solution or clear alcohol. You can also use like lemon essence as well. It does evaporate. I can then paint this on for my eyebrows. So I've got a nice dark brown color here. And remember, I'm gonna put links below the video to everything that I've used. Now we can put those eyes that we made earlier back in place. So they weren't, we didn't leave them in place earlier because when we do the dust in, they would end up absolutely covered in dust. I'll probably end up covering them in dust by accident anyway. So the teeth can also go in as well now. You can even lift a little space in there for them to slot into. I made a couple more, it's got four teeth now. I think we'll maybe have two different eyes as well. Let's just touch up the teeth a bit, They're a bit too sparkly white for a monster. So this one, I want him to kind of look like maybe he's lost sight in one eye. So rather than giving him a pupil, an iris in this one, we're gonna go with like that turquoisey blue that we used earlier around the edge. You can even darken the bags with a pen if you want. So in this one, let's draw in the pupil. If you prefer to paint, you can paint. My fondant's still a little bit soft when I'm doing this. Now really I should have let that fondant firm up for maybe like an hour or so and then drawn on so that my pen didn't dig into it too much. Still gonna add just a tiny bit of green around there. To maybe give him a bloodshot eye. So I realize my hand's kind of blocking what I'm doing there, but we're just putting some little lines on with a red edible pen again. So there's the quick one we made in the Facebook Live. Now as part of the Facebook Live, I decided that I was gonna see if I could do another one in about 20, 30 minutes. That was a smaller version. And I thought I'd try and make this one look a little bit more feminine. So this one, there we go, we measured it was about, was it about five, five inches. So we're just sandwiching them together. Now at this point, I'm absolutely covered in food coloring and all sorts. <laughs> Let's make this one look happier. So the mouth goes the opposite way of the previous one. And we're gonna cut the top bits down a bit. So we're getting slopes on the edge of the cake. I'm removing the top corners a little bit and also the bottom corners. I thought if it was less square looking, it might look a little bit more feminine than the other one. Let's cut out the facial features again. So we're gonna cut out two pieces for the eyes. So we've left a bit in the middle for the bridge of the nose and then kind of removed a bit either side. And then we're gonna cover this again in buttercream. So I was kind of against the clock trying to do this one as quick as possible. You guys can spend much longer getting your buttercream nice and neat. You can see my buttercream is a real mess on this one. And then I decided I was gonna mix an assortment of different colors that I had open for this. So we've got a bit of yellow, pale green and white or green and white to make like a pale green. Um, part of the yellow I just saved to one side there. So we did the same thing. We just covered it again in the fondant, pressing it in anywhere that was a dip. So I added separate pieces as cheeks to hide all those cracks and gaps that were in there. I'm gonna cut around the face and I'm gonna leave some at the bottom for this one's shoulders so that we don't have to stick it on as an additional piece. Just got one closed eye as well, this one. So we're not sticking on the nose in an additional piece, this one. Just watch out for cracking. I went for more rounded teeth on this one. 
Again, we'll stick them in after the dusting. I wanted to splatter some sort of specks of colour onto her. So what I did was kind of covered the areas that I didn't want to get food colour on up with fondant. So like the eyes and the teeth, and then I'll remove them afterwards. Just watch what's around you. I forgot I had a lot of things in the background that actually I splattered with my food colour in. I also still managed to get some on the teeth as well. We gave her some eyelashes with some black fondant and then we paint the top of the eyelids using the edible paint that we've just used for flicking like the freckles and spots on her with. And stick a pupil on in black fondant. More rounded ears on this one. So we'll add her horns. Maybe give her a bit of pink on the cheeks. Finish her off with a bow. Everything at this point is covered in the green powder food colouring that I had. So guys, if your hands do get in this state like mine, do be washing them during what you're doing. Um, the reason mine aren't washed in between is because it was a Facebook Live when we were filming this one and it was harder for me to keep getting up and washing my hands in between the filming. So they're covered in food colouring. Different colour warts on this one. There we go. So that second smaller one I think maybe took about 20 minutes or so and the bigger one I think I probably spent about an hour or so on on the Facebook live so guys if you do want to watch the Facebook lives we do them every Tuesday morning 10 30 a.m uk time and then we try and put them on the YouTube channel as well so thanks for watching I hope you've enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time if you like the video be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below you can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now if you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.